Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about American Horror Story Season 2, Episode 4, Milk Maids. This episode is set in 1757, New England, and small pockets are rife. Everyone is dying and anyone who isn't taking increasingly drastic measures to staff of the possibility. In that climate, Celeste, a milkmaid, and part-time prostitute have more to offer than her body. She for stones with balls have never fallen ill. She admit that the pus that excruciate is the gift of Helen from St. Lazarus. And that the men who she has, who have fed from the balls, have lived long and healthy lives. The beginning of this episode was so disgusting. And when Celeste said that her puscular tastes like honey, I almost gagged. And what made it worse? That Pastor Walter licked the puscular from Celeste's fingers. That was so damn disgusting. It was kind of cringy a little bit too because I was like, what in the world is going on with this episode? But eventually the pastor realized what the hell he was doing and he puked on the floor. When Celeste walked in Pastor Walter's church, she tried to convince these people that her puscular is the cure and the way that this man, I don't know who this man was that was sitting on the pew, but the way he threw that Bible landed on her face, I'm not gonna lie, I was I was dying out laughing because it came out of nowhere. So the tension between Celeste and Walter is the backbone of the Milkmaids episode. And from there, the episode introduced a second later, which is Thomas. And he tells Walter of a nearby town that cut the hearts from a dead, burning them to rid the town of smallpox. Desperate, the man cut the heart from Thomas' wife, but Walter suggests to eat it. Walter's suggestion boils over into an intense with cannibalism. Later, encouraged the rest of the town to follow suit. Also, we get to introduce Dahlia that helps Celeste and believes in the science of everything and not religion. So, Dahlia shows Celeste this novel in this episode, and this novel is called The Memoirs of a Woman in Pleasure better known as Fanny Hill and it was written by John Klein and it was the first published in 1748. The novel is considered to be the very first instant of erotic fiction, at least one erotic pose written in English. And so when I was doing my research, I see that the novel had follows uh, a person named Fanny as she recalls her sexual exports for her time with a bisexual prostitute to become a sex worker herself Funnily enough, one of the first events Fanny details are her parents dying of a smallpox. Fanny Hills became one of the most persecuted books in the history due to its sexual content. So then, um, Delia had discovered the cure of how to prevent smallpox. So she decided to stop by Thomas' house to warn him and say like, hey, I got this milk that I had made and you know, I need you to drink it, you and your son, but Thomas wasn't at home. His evil son was at home and when Delilah was trying to talk to him about drinking the milk and the son was like, no, I'm not drinking it. And she just literally forced him to drink that milk. And then she tries to convince the townspeople to drink the milk as well. And you know, Pastor Walter was not happy. And later on, it was revealed that Thomas had slept with Celeste and she is Edward's mother. Celeste tried to convince Edward to come with her and leave, of course, but Edward wasn't having it at all and he ended up killing her. So I enjoy everything about this episode and love how this episode was tied into factual history of the real Edward Jenner, who was the British physician and scientist who pioneered the concept of vaccines, including creating the smallpox vaccine, the world's first one. This episode gives me American Horror Story, Roanoke, and a little bit of Apocalypse, especially when Michael had eaten that heart. And so it made me think about this episode or whatnot and this episode will make you feel very uncomfortable because you don't see what's coming and it wasn't predictable at all and so I think the writers did a great job on this I can honestly say that this one by far is one of the best episodes I have ever watched now the only thing that I wish they would have did is did a disclaimer in the beginning because that episode it was just disgusting and it gave me that body horror, but yeah, I wish they could have put a disclaimer, but 
nevertheless, I enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until then, see you later.